Hello everybody, I am Savic and I'm here with Doc. This is the Kingwin Pro League, week 8, day 2. And we have one more match today. That will be Archon Orange going up against, I forgot who. Life Coach. Against Life Coach, yes. Life Coach had a, had a game earlier today, which you know, unfortunately for him did not go his way. But I'm sure he's, he's ready to battle again. And that's like, a, had a tiny bit of break and like, just shake off the loss, and uh, I think he's gonna come back strong. Yeah, for sure. What do you think of the, of, uh, of, the, of these players? Uh, life coach really strong. Uh, he's not one to like. I don't think get tilted and probably like you know throw the next series because he might have lost the last one or anything. So I'm sure like no. his head's probably in the right place. Uh, Orange, he won C Story Cup three. He dethroned you. And yep. uh, he also won another big tournament. I forget which, but... I am Katowice. I, yeah, so he's won like two majors in the past uh, like few months. That's which is really big. That's, yeah, that's like, really impressive. It's incredible like how fast he just like surfaced by just like playing well. Like, we, we were talking about like before his big wins, he was like this... He, he caught the, the public eye already for his like strong performances in, uh, in qualifiers. He qualified for the Millennium House Cup. He qualified for the Pinnacle twice, I think. Yeah. Like people were like, "Who is this guy? Where is he coming from?" And then like he actually stepped up the game just one notch more and managed to win the biggest tournament that's been played in the Europe so far, being um, the IM Katowice, thirteen thousand dollars. One month from there, winning ten thousand more. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, much. Like, <laughs> like, that's quite impressive. What's, yeah. What has not been so impressive so far is he has been his performances in this league. I mean, he hasn't been playing bad or anything, but his score is not that strong. So he, he's definitely looking here to like improve it at least a little bit. And uh, he's, he's not up against an easy opponent, that's for sure. Yeah, life yeah. coach is definitely really good. Uh, I think Orange still might be able to make the cut. I'm not too sure, but maybe. I think it's doable because yeah. he has three more matches to go, so he cannot improve his score to five and four. So, but if, if he loses this one, I'm I'm quite certain yeah, that then, it, then it's like, uh, the streams are getting crushed and there's going to be somebody else in Kingwin League Season 2, unless he re-qualifies through the Open Qualifiers. But uh, the, this match, uh, we, get, we have the classes here, so Life Coach is going to mix it up a little bit. Yeah. I don't think he played Warrior in his uh, previous match. I don't think so either. So I like that a lot, like, bring just a little bit, like, uh, changing it up and uh, not being that predictable. So he's going to be playing Druid, Warlock, and Warrior. So he's bringing the Warrior instead of the instead of the Paladin, which is probably a good call because I think Orange likes to play uh, play Rogue a lot. And you like the Warrior is definitely a, a lot better against that than it would be against uh, uh, again than the Paladin would be against Rogue. Yeah, and also I, Hunter. I really like his choice of Warrior here. Mm -hmm. Um. He knows that, like, okay, he was against Amaz, right? He knows Amaz doesn't really play a rogue too often. So, you know, he picked uh, he picked Paladin because, you know, Amaz yeah. plays Druids and, what, Druid and whatnot. Against Orange, he picked Warrior because, you know, uh, Orange plays rogue a lot. So, you know, trying yeah. to get better matchups. So I, I like his deck choice a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also see that uh, Orange brought not only the rogue, but he also brought Hunter. So that's another good matchup for the Warrior, which would have been a bad matchup for the Paladin. So really good call by Life Coach here, choosing the Warrior over the Paladin for this match. I, I agree wholeheartedly. Um, the first game looking to be Orange is going to start with Hunter and Life Coach with a trade. Is it going to be a sweep again for the Hunter? <laughs> I mean, the Druid, like... I don't I don't know. As I said, it comes down to him drawing Innervate. Uh, just... I don't even know what the percentages are in this matchup. I would give the favor mm -hmm. to the hunter. It's, if it's mid range, it's definitely favored towards the hunter. If it's um, face, it's favored towards the hunter, but not by too much. So it just depends. Yeah, I think that um, Orange's style leans towards the mid range hunter. I think I've seen him play it multiple times, where it's the one with the with the Hymens, with the Doctor Boom, and even a Ragnaros. That's, yeah, that's what I've usually seen from him. I would so say I would so. expect it to be that here again. Yeah, for sure. So uh, it, it's gonna kind of come down to the draws. Uh, it always comes down to the draws, but Hearthstone esports. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's entertaining. Yeah. So, uh, we're just about ready to go in the first game. 
Let's see how many wild growths and uh, inner vets there are. Okay, so life coach is on oh. Druid. He already drew his wild growth, so he's feeling probably pretty decent. Yeah. And it looks like it's going to be mid range coming out from orange. Okay, I'm, I'm lagging life coach's hand right now. I am as well. What's interesting? If, if you are, if you want to beat Druid, I mean, if you want to be the hunter, this might be the hand you do it with. For sure, uh, wild growth is significantly better against um, against not face the other one mid range against mid range, mid -range. hunter. Yes, and mm -hmm. innervate's much better against face. I doubt corn or orange will be coining juggler here, so I doubt you know innervate no. keeper will be a thing. Not with this hand. There's no way you coin it out because you don't have a follow up to it. I don't think I don't think going out the chocolate makes any, makes any sense at all. So, life coach gets a full two mana ahead. Yeah, there we go. Perfect time to wild growth. Off to a great start. With a do you? Oh wow! Well, if he had that, he might have maybe then. Uh... You just coin animal companion. There's yeah, no yeah, uh, there's yeah. no question. I think so too. If you don't get Misha, you're a little unhappy. Mm-hmm. But because of yeah, because of the double animal companions, it's just so smooth. Turn two animal companion, turn three animal companion. That's pretty good. Exactly. Curve out. Damn. The huffer. Usually you want the huffer because like you want to go face and well man with the windrace. But here it would be absolutely the worst one to get. Exactly. I I don't like huffer in this like against uh, Druid. Yeah. Just... With the mid range, you are you are quite often actually not even hoping for hoping to get the huffer. If, when you play face hunter, oh, oh. there it is. Why doesn't he just run ogre brute? Mm. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Way better. <laughs> You get the no, guaranteed with the du stats. Double keepers. With double keepers, I, I don't think there's any question about what this turn is going to be. Yeah, I, I'd be surprised if he took more than a few seconds Please. on this turn. If this was any other player, I think the keeper would have happened like 10 seconds ago. But he's still gonna go through with. He might be just like planning out the following turn. Yeah, there's there's some merit to like just making this play and then waiting. That's what I would do if I like wanted to think a little bit longer. That way you can see the board state ahead of time. But I guess you can just use your imagination as well. Yep. Okay. Leok. That's that not would the best. suck if there was a druid of the claw, but there is not. There is. It is it's not there just yet. So are you but scared of Houndmaster? Uh, that's a good question. But what can you really do about it? Like, you, I, you can't really keep her against the mid range hunter here. I think. I, gotta, I think you have to save the other one for the for like a high main. And also, it's not mana efficient at all. That's true. I agree. So either a uh, either Drake or Low and just risk them. What uh? What punishes you the least against that Low yes. I guess. Yeah, I guess so Low Then you can. Then you can potentially like play the second keeper. No, I don't know. Huh. Do you need to draw? It's like you have a play next turn. Mm. That's interesting. I I I can't like blame him for making either either play. Both of the fine five seem kind of fine. I I think I would play Lothab just because it's the shutter turn coming up. It's it just seems better, and I think he agrees. Yeah, it's, it's alright. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, rope was there, so it was a good turn. Mm -hmm. Yep. Not rushing into decisions. Uh, what are the options? Shredder or? Actually, I don't know. Kid Juggler okay. and Creeper. But that's not very good. That's pretty weird. I mean, you're playing the swipe pretty bad with that. Exactly. Yeah, I would say Shredder is pretty safe yeah, here. I think so too. Do you attack into the. No, you don't attack. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think you Drake Innervate Wrath. Is that fun? I think he's going for a rag. I like this also, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you clear the Leoc with uh, Lotep, right? Mm hmm. Yep. You hope it hits the four three, yeah. but you're not too upset if it hits face, so you're happy either way. <laughs> yeah, that's not not a disaster. The, the issue is, is like, 
you don't really have a swipe, so if he plays creeper or something, see, he's just gonna play creeper here. Yeah. Kind of sucks, and then you can just like eagle horn down the five three. Or down the logger. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, it sucks leaving up the track. There's <laughs> I mean, a lot there's... of. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with, with that uh, shredder at one HP, and also with, with the hunter creepers, there's a bunch of like kind of bad targets for the wreck to hit. Exactly. I mean, here it might be. You might just want to silence and then okay, cycle the wrath. Consider it. Well, I would definitely consider it. I don't, I don't know if I would do it. You would just like silence the track of Ace Wraith and uh, Shade or cycle the wrath. I would cycle the wrath if I did that. Wait, you no, no, I was Shade. Never mind. What am I talking about? Shade yeah. is. I, I think the Shade is better, yeah. 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 It's just so smooth. I like that actually. Cause it's like it's so bad if the rag hits one of those. It's almost like the keeper battle cry was delayed to damage the base. I mean, if you're feeling lucky, I guess you could just like hope that the rag goes to base. But hitting the haunted creeper would be would be really really bad. Oh, I'm I want to put a heal bot in Hunter now, for some reason. <laughs> I feel like no one would ever play around it. Mm. Like in a tournament, it would just be like the best surprise factor. Yep. It looks like oh. he's going for this one. He's taking a 50-50 with Rag. Oh, he's killing it. Wow. I think you have to wrath that. Yeah. I don't think you can leave it up. I think so, though. That was a bit surprising, because it could have been like something with more toughness. Yeah. I thought he would silence it and then hero power it after the keeper. Does hit the creeper. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I think that the orange decklist also has like a like a hunter's mark in it. But yeah. it just hasn't drawn it. What is look at life coach. Oh, it was, uh, I don't know what the emotion is about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I wish I could hear him talk right now. Yeah, okay. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I would drop high man and maybe yeah. clear off the 2 4. Maybe not. Maybe you only win going face. Mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah, I think he agrees with me. There, he agrees. Nope. He, he's going to clear. You have to hero power this turn, I think. Yeah, I, I think you take the 50 50 at lethal. Yeah. He, he could force of nature for the 50 50, but I mean, I guess the drag is fine too, because next turn he has the combo. Exactly. Just do a 50 50 on the. Um, uh, okay. I'm in. Uh, it just, yeah. <laughs> it's like no, no way it's killing the high man, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Doesn't make him matter very good. His life total is like so, um, so high, you know, so high still that um, exactly. he can feel comfortable. So. There's a taunt, but it's not gonna yeah, protect from the swipe. I guess you just uh, juggler, belcher, trade into the 4 4. Yeah, and then die to a swipe. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. He can't know that for sure that it's in there. But I mean, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Even with the belts or the combo is also lethal. Yeah, he is just in a, a bad spot. And I, I thought this deck was like really favored. I mean, it is, in my opinion, but... It is, but the, the, the starting hand for, from Life Coach was just so amazing. I think it was like really, really good. Like against that hand with... Yeah. Where, what can you do? But they had the wild card, he had the inner, but he had two keepers. The keeper is amazing. And the hunter even rolled the hopper. Against the double keeper, like they, that was just so perfect. The turn four from the druid, just landing the keeper on the hopper. Yeah, I think was... from, from that point on, it was it was um playing from behind. Pretty on much impossible. The, the hunter to come back, yeah, with no mad scientist or anything like that to gain tempo back. Exactly. Scientist, the scientist is a really good card, and like so you can get the freezing traps because druid struggles a lot with those because there's, there's not that many small minions that you can just throw into the freezing trap. And getting some something expensive frozen is, is really really devastating. They were just like, nope, 
not drawing it. I'm sure they were in there. We didn't see a single trap or scientist, but I'm sure they are somewhere in there. Yeah, I can't imagine yeah. him like not playing any secrets. Just yeah, wouldn't no make way. any sense to me. I don't think life coach is one to play Kazan too much. Unless I'm wrong on that, but I can't remember him playing Kazan. No, probably not. Yeah. Uh, coach making the game with his druid. So the coach has warlock and warrior left. Orange still with druid hunter and rogue. I think you go with warlock, right? If your coach probably. just to get the game, I guess. And what's the worst thing that's gonna happen with warlock? It can, the worst thing is probably like queue it up against the rogue because you want the warrior against rogue. Yeah, that's true. So a lot of people like do that thing where they just pick the same class again. So if he, if Orange is like one of those people, which is gonna stick with Thunder, should he then pick the warrior? If I was Orange, I would probably switch to Druid here actually. Yeah, that's what I would so, do. So then Life Coach wants to play Warlock. Okay, exactly. if I'm Life Coach, I'm <laughs> Orange changes the Druid and I pick Warlock. That's what I would do. Anything can happen. Though. Mind games, yo. That's the yes. thing. It's it's like it's I don't know. It's silly. It is. But um, yeah. Orange has picked Druid. We know that. But Life Coach is roping on rough. the pick. But I was right about that. You were right I was about right that. Right about Orange being a Druid. So if I'm. Warlock. Okay. Oh, see, he, he read yes! it. Yes. What a read. What a read. Mm. After the rope, Warlock. After is the, the rope. Pick. How do you rope on the fix? <laughs> on the fix. Honestly, that's like the hardest decision. I always feel so nervous. <laughs> Just like, don't want that bad matchup. Yep. Warlock, uh... What kind of, I wonder what kind of Warlock it is. Yeah, it, oh, it's life. Yeah. Probably, yeah, it's handlock. Thing, yeah, yeah, it's handlock. It's handlock. It's, it has to be handlock. He always plays handlock. That was for whatever reason I was thinking that Orange is the Warlock player. But no. It will be handlock against the druid. Not, not the worst matchup for handlock. I mean, still give it to the druid, but yeah, it's doable. It depends a lot on the tech cards. Like, I mean, if the if the if the druid has the big game hunter for the first giant or something like that, that can completely like just <laughs> like um, give that druid such a big advantage that there's no coming back for the warlock. And the first big game hunter, that's like the biggest thing. Life Coach actually kept Molten Giant in his hands. What? Mm hmm. No, that had to be a bug with the. No, part. I'm pretty sure he did. And. Molten. I actually, I actually do that sometimes also. Molten's like the swingiest card ever, and most of the times they're like praying you don't have it. I know with Druid there's a lot of birds. Uh -oh. I don't think it's like okay. that bad. Well, I'm a bit shocked if that's what happened. I thought it was just like made graphical error. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you can get a turn three scenarios. Turn four <laughs> scenarios. I'm sorry. That's pretty good still. Dark Bomb. Right? Yeah, I would say Dark Bomb. I mean, the other option is to play a Watcher. There's nothing else. It's one of those two, but I, I kind of like the Dark Bomb. It's so perfect against it. It's perfect. Yeah. Oh my oh, wow. gosh. If he only had a mortal coil. That's actually really amazing for oh, Orange. Lot is, and he's gonna follow it up with a Lothev? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's such a good one to get. I mean, it's no Mill House, but it's still amazing. Wait, okay. Wow, that's a, he's really committing in this one. There's three cards. I, I he's think a bit that's right. Big hellfire now. Life coach. He's, gonna get, hmm. He's gonna get punished by the Hellfire now. Doesn't punish him too much. You think? You still have a 5-5 five five on board. You have two 5-5s five fives on board yeah. after this, as a druid. Yeah, that doesn't too bad. And like, he's hurting himself also, so... Okay, makes sense. Oh. I was just thinking of like that. You don't want to like, spend all of the innovations, but he already has like enough mana, so... Why is he supposed to innervate later on? He's drawing into burn. Yeah, this works. He can't even like do watcher co watcher watcher coin sound fury because of the low to effect. If Life Coach doesn't taunt here, there's lethal. Oh, no, he, he will he will play the belcher for sure. You can't taunt one watcher. 
For the next turn, he has the double watcher, Sun Fury. That's true. I'm trying to think if there's anything else but the Belcher, but uh, probably not. Oh. Watcher. Okay. Sun Fury. That's, I was actually like considering this. Why do you think this is better than the Belcher? Well, the thing is, you kind of want to get a little bit lower so you can play your Bolden. <laughs> so you're kind of baiting out the... Uh, That's why. Yeah. Product, product to your face. Exactly. Alright. And also, you could always draw into a Shadow Flame or something. If he, uh, if he trades. And if he doesn't trade, then you can just trade into his other minion, so it's fine. It's feel like if he doesn't get to play the Molden Giant next turn, that, um, it's, it's gonna be worse than it would have been if, uh, if he played the Veltzer. That is true. It's just, it just would have been, like, so, uh, so easy. So he's cycling the Wrath here. Oh, he might swipe here. The thing mm -hmm. is, if he goes face, like, he's not in a very good situation. No. Because molten. Life Coach kept the Molten. Molten. See, this is what I was talking about. Like, Molten does Wow. Work. Okay, I'm learning here. Although, so, you double Giants and coin out Sun Fury, right? Of course. Just coin out, boom, play the Molten. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what? Look at how big of a board I have. You can't lose. <laughs> No, but uh, I do like oh. Molten and then uh, or Mountain Molten and then Coin Sun Fury. I think yes. that's the best play. Yes, by miles. Yeah. I mean, uh, what's the worst thing that can happen? Big game Black Knight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's some bad things that can happen, but still, I mean, nothing else comes even close to it. Yeah, it's the most uh, effective HP you can put for blocking, so it's fine. Yeah, it's pretty good. And if uh, if orange blanks on the draw, I think life coach just does have an okay chance at this by drawing something like a uh, illbot. I don't think this turn is that hard, but I don't I don't know. Yeah, he he does need the heal bot. He already saw a swipe, so he shouldn't be scared of dying through taunts. So as long as and he does have like a lot of taunts, so as long as he yep. keeps those up, I think he'll be okay. Double turns. He just saw a swipe, so there we go. Well, that's a swing turn. That's pretty. It's pretty good. I'm so like, I'm still like a bit shocked about if if that was a mold enchant key because it. Oh wow. Uh, oh okay. man. That's not enough. You can't silence here. I don't think. No, it doesn't work. Yeah. Just force of nature, clear some, or. I think you emperor and you like double trade for one of the giants. Uh, then so... next turn you can go. Bad. <laughs> yeah, it, it is bad, but then next turn you would have like keeper silence in the force of nature. It's kind of desperate, but I mean, there's nothing that great. Because if there was like no more taunts coming for heal, I don't know. There's so many heals and so many taunts. He needs to draw into the Savage Roar, then he'll be good. Oh, yes. Yes. I mean, I, I would. I, I don't see anything, any any other play. Just Ember on save one of the It's so bad, but it's the only play. Would you not trade in? There's some relevance in not trading in. I guess. Because, like, you know he doesn't have a Shadow Flame, because he would have Molten Giant, or Mountain Giant, coined Shadow... No, 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 he would have... Never mind, no. I'm, I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm For some reason, I thought he could clear. He did not that like with those. Well, there's no Shadow Flame. Yeah, there's no Shadow Flame. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess it, yeah, it was better not to attack with those. I mean, even if there was Shadow Flame, he would have had Shadow Flame one of the taunts. Yeah. And then there would only be one taunt, which would mean that the force of nature is lethal. So yeah, that was good. Just trade, trade, play Watcher, Argus. Maybe you just trade one and go phase. I don't know. It's a lot of math. Hmm. You're definitely playing Molten Giant, Watcher Defender, though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not looking at this. At least you're like, uh, how much do you have? There's like a lot of like thing goes in this. I kind of like just like trading everything. Or at least two of them. So he's okay. Okay. He's talking about. 
That's a lot of taunts. So like, <laughs> we have to do the Thoris and do, yeah. At least that one. Now probably face, yeah. Face, I like this. That one. Yeah. Please don't miss the attack. There we go. Down to no, the wire. So silence the nine nine force of nature, clear clear. Nope, <laughs> not even close. How much would that be if there was a combo? No, still not enough. Is there any way you live through this? No, I don't think so. Is there? If you force of nature, you can double force of nature and like clear like keeper. Damn. You don't use Keeper, I think you hold it in case you draw into a second swipe. Mm -hmm. I think you Force of Nature and try to live through that. And then Hero Power, or Keeper Face as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just concedes. <laughs> that's also a play, that's pretty good. Yep, that's a play. Uh, so that's 2-0, uh, quick lead yeah. for Life Coach right now. Looking good for him. Mm -hmm. He only has to win with uh, his warrior against Druid, Hunter, and Rogue. He got the big right there, right? Like bringing that warlock was, was pretty pretty good. I mean, if he if he brought this warrior, he would have been screwed against the Druid. Yeah, exactly. So maybe the mind gaze games or the or the guessing games, but um, in any case, like that was just like kind of outpicked or outlucked or whatever you want to yeah. call it. Outmind game, maybe? Who Outmind knows? Game. Let's just say that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, life coach to bring that there. Well, now, the next one is obviously going to be the good old Druid Warrior, which we have seen quite I've a few times. Druid, Druid has lost the last, like, bunch of Warrior matchups, hasn't That's it? That's true. It's lost, but like, a ton like, today. Mm. But there's also been, like, the... The Grim Patron Warrior, and there has been the uh, the Gazan Mystic Druid. Yeah, so I think that's kind of affects into the, like, the yeah. I would still like favor the Druid really heavily, like just based on like the past one and a half years of <laughs> Hearthstone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would I would tend to agree. But uh, anything can happen. Maybe there's um, like an amazing starting. Maybe Life Coach is playing Grim Patron. Please, come on. Grim I mean, Patron. there's actually a pretty good chance Orange comes back. Uh, Hunter, mid range Hunter is pretty good against Warrior. Anyway, you slice it. Mm -hmm. uh, then you only have to win with the Rogue if you win the Druid matchup, which should be, you know, kind of, kind of favored towards you. So yeah. it's just Rogue v Warrior. Sure, you're a little unfavored, but you can definitely come back. So it's yeah. definitely not over. But still good to be up 2-0 for life coach. Yeah, for sure. And like this is gonna be a bad match for him. He's gonna have a bad time. But after that, against Hunter, against against Rogue, he should be able to do wait what? Are you Oh. Oh uh, my gosh. This is uh, ridiculous. Uh, Alright, now we're going into the game. He did this against uh, me. <laughs> I lost. What, I lost what? that one matchup, but what is going on? Oh man. It's like way past my bedtime or something. I, I, are you seeing the same thing as I am seeing? It's like... Did he miss you? <laughs> this is kind of wild. I actually have not seen this before. Mech Warrior is actually not that bad. It's. I have not seen... Like I've never seen this before. Hmm. Do you think Orange can predict it? Where, when did He played it against you. Is that what you said? Yeah, he did. In, in where, where? In what England league Pro or? League. Wow. Mm -hmm. He beat me with it. First matchup. Okay, I missed that match. Let's see if Orange has seen it. Because then he might be able to like, predict it somehow. But he's going to know fairly fast what, what is happening. <clears throat> oh man, but the Keeper and like the Drew of the Claw, those are very important cards yeah, for, uh, for sure. against an aggro deck. You definitely want Innervates over Wild Ghost initially. Yep. Oh man, I want to see Orange's face. That's all I want. Look at uh, look at him right now. Huh? <laughs> 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 that smile. Would you? I would. I would innervate keeper there. I would. I don't think I would wild growth. <laughs> oh my goodness. I like that smile. Yeah. Look. Huh? Like really? <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny. Mm. 
fighter Vorex base. No. Like Berserker is kinda like the best play, the strongest play for this turn. But the problem is that it's not that nothing. good of a follow up. Yeah. Next turn is just like terrible if you coin Frothing. Yeah. So I might just War Axe face here. But he might just like hope to draw something for the next turn. But yeah, that seems kind of like it's risky. I don't know. He did mulligan away his Clockwork Gnome. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of strange. Because if you put that one drop in the deck, when it's... are you hoping to draw it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe not against a Druid, but still. Yeah, I, I find it a little bit strange as well. Could actually work out for life coach. Keepering. I, I'm a bit confused by not keepering the Coke Master because if there was like a mech, it would just trade so easy. Oh, <laughs> okay, That's, okay, okay. It's kind of weird still. Is he gonna silence? He's gonna kill it. Okay. I don't know why he didn't innervate turn one and then keeper and then innervate the claw and then like that feels a little better against yeah. aggro. But like if he was, he had two of those already he could have like if he was to do the double in everything he could have done it earlier right now orange actually has no dead draws in deck because uh innervate is mm -hmm. yeah okay uh, that's that's really good yeah Just for uh life coach for life coach yeah so that's not a battle cry from a druid of the claw that's right yeah but still it doesn't it's like suicide it off first see he can't play a druid of the claw if you trade here though I mean, he can, but it gets killed, like, really easily. Mm -hmm. Should kill that. I would keeper. kill it. Why would you not kill the Keeper? It's a face deck, I guess, because of that, but... It can get, like, swiped. I feel like there's so much value in killing off the Keeper right now. It's Life Coach, he's just gonna rope. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I probably <laughs> My bad. There it goes. Now there he can attack. <laughs> now he, now okay, most of the time. Oh, 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 like waking up or something. There you go. And this turn is not very good. I you need to like trade one of the cards, one of your two cards for already damaged to three drop. Wow. Do you face tank this? Uh, I mean, he is low on cards, but. I, think uh, I don't know. Because of your yeah, your card disadvantage. Feels pretty awful. Swipe isn't bad either. No, but I mean yeah. Well, it, I think all of the plays are bad to be honest. You just have to pick which one you think is the like, least bad. I would probably not play the Druid of the Claw because it's like the only minion. So I like the hero power or the swipe more. Yeah. I don't think that 1-4 is going to be doing very much. No. I think I'm leaning towards the swipe, but uh, this is like the second best thing. Or maybe, well, it kind of depends. Like in, in my mind, like this is fine. Because, also because of the, the low amount of cards in his hand. It's kind of strange charge isn't a battle cry. But I guess it's not like give charge. No. Oh, well, that's a cor 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 <laughs> Don't even know how to pronounce that. I haven't seen it getting played in such a long time. It used to be pretty like commonplace. Pretty oh, sure. yeah, but it, it was a long time ago. Yeah. So you it's just Corcron face, attack face, because you have another weapon. Yep. Five mana pyroblast blast coming up. <laughs> Definitely Corcron. What else? Mech Warper and Cruel Task. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, go Chrome Co. Oh, it's Life Pass, yes. Yeah, you have to wait for the rope. <laughs> wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Oh, there's the rope. What? Wait, wait, what? wait. I'm wait, actually what? really confused about this. I don't know about this play. Because he really can swipe and clear. I am so confused right now. Why was that better? I, I, I See, know. that's the thing. Life Coach makes these plays, and you're like, I wonder why he made that. And it might. Well, I'm, I'm I mean, I don't. I don't see how it's better, but it might be. Who knows? Maybe it'll pay off. It, it does add more stats to the board, but it's just so weird. I mean, it feels like the Cruel Dust Master and the Mech Warper could both be like more useful later. Exactly. The Warcron just seemed like perfect to me. You have four mana. And like, yeah. if he chose to like drew the claw against the Corcron, he could just Cruel Taskmastered it and like traded. Then played the Mech Warper. I don't know. 
It's strange to me. It's really weird. Like now he could have had like a mech warp or spider tank then or something. I mean, obviously you can't know exactly what you're gonna draw next, but still. The most mana efficient thing would be like either the Arcanite Reaper or the Spider Tank Fireworks. <laughs> Just Arcanite Reaper face. Doesn't seem like a very good play. <laughs> no, that, that's right. Now. Oh my goodness. You, you want to get a minion out there, yeah. Arcanite Reaper face drawing to green skin. Easy game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I think he plays upgrade in this deck though. I played against him and he upgraded. And I was very sad because there was 18 damage staring at me. Now he cartoons. Okay. This is so. I have no idea what's going on, but I also don't know exactly what in this deck, and uh, I never played this deck, so I'm, I'm having. I can't really like question his plays that much. I'm sure, he knows what he's doing. Yeah. They seem like really like inefficient in some ways. What do we do? You don't piss up? Yep. Yeah, okay. I don't think you can play Drake okay. Otherwise, it just gets like uh, Arcanite Reaper down. So it's gonna be like War Axe, Spider Tank? <laughs> Arcanite Reaper down. <laughs> oh, okay. Does that happen? That's a good card. Yeah. Arcanite Reaper is. Okay, it's actually kind of bad. But <laughs> yeah, like... I don't know. I, I, I kind of like Dead Spite more, and you can't play both, so that's like the exactly. main problem. Yeah. I'm sure he plays both in this deck. Pretty sure. Wow, so that's like six weapons? Probably. It's a it's an aggressive deck. Weapons represent a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Mm -hmm. so this is if you draw many of them at the same time, they all have two charges and like the when you have one on the board, the rest are just sitting dead in your hand. That's, that's true. Like a, yeah. I tried the Arcanist Reaper. I actually think the card is fine. Like it's oh. not a oh wow. There's, there is a big game hunter. That's true, but how does he deal with the boom bots after? I guess he can BGH and claw. Mm -hmm. I still think you have to play it. It's, it curves so well into the next turn as well. Yeah, how do you not play it here? Just go. Do you like base. trade and be scared of combo? Cause I think you have to push. For, for base? Yeah. I mean, it, it would be. Looking at the cards, it would definitely be better. But it. That's true. You, you're not some, sure. It's still something like, to think about. It's something to think about for sure. Because the Drake with the. Like, if Force of Nature's Savage Sword would be 20 damage. Let's see if he can pull this trigger and just go face. I mean, if he's paying oh. attention to cards, Orange has kept the Drew, the Claw, and the Big Game Hunter, so he might think those two cards are combo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that's one piece. Fast Big Game Hunter. But the Arcanite Reaper is going to be kind of nice. This is so silly. Yeah, it's... Oh uh, my goodness. Just, okay, if... What's going on? Oh, uh, if that Boombot kills the 4-2, the I don't even know. Of course it kills. The right Boombot kills it every time. He needs to use the right one. The left one does not. It oh, goes okay. back. So, he knows, right? Yeah, he, he knew. I told you. Yeah, okay. You know, some people do the ma make the mistake that they use the left one, and then they're like, Oh, I'm so unlucky. It went yeah, to okay. base, right? It always goes to base. Baby Rage, never lucky. Yeah. You're not unlucky, you're just playing it wrong. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, yeah. So, but just, um, everybody can learn. But it takes a bit of experience. <laughs> it takes a little experience. <laughs> what if a new player was watching you and you just rolled the <laughs> shit out of them? <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, I heard Savage is such a good player. Like, I'm just gonna, like, follow all of his advice. <laughs> it's a good idea. <laughs> All right, so I play everything on face. Yeah. Right. He's out of gas, so he can't be clearing that. You can he? Oh, so no. Curve out perfectly. He yeah. could kill the five five, but you just have to go face here. No, no, you have no cards in your hand. You gotta go face. Yeah, I agree. Needs to. He, he can put the druid down to six HP, which is. And the Druids already used like two Druids yeah. of the Claws, so... That's true. Even this doesn't even have a lot of effect up. Kapow! Yeah. 
This is John. So let's see. You silence the one two. You trade into the five five. You play the shredder and hero power face. That's the only thing he can do. He could also like hit the boom and bot, I guess, and hope that lands. You don't hit the boom first. bot, I think. So he could he could like keep her silence first and then kill the boom bot. So the, hopefully the boom bot would land on the lore. So you kind of because because the damage from you the play boom the shredder the first. Oh yeah, even in the even the shredder. Yeah, yeah I think so. But are you really reducing damage then? Uh, because um, he's just going to make that attack anyways. So you're not really reducing damage if you do that. Uh, not reducing, but it's just like get it off the board. I, I don't know. Because the death rattle from it is kind of scary. Oh man, wait. Did... This boombot boom is like the it has game. To kill this boombot is the game. It has to kill him. Oh my gosh. It's this ridiculous. What does it, it needs to roll a three or a four on the face? No, it needs to roll a wait, four. Yeah, you're right, three or four. That's not too well, unlikely. It's not, so it's 50 50 that it rolls high on the face. And it's one out of three to, to hit the face. So it's one out of six. One out of six for Life Coach to win right here. It's easy. Yep, pretty easy. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Look at Orange. He's just like, wow. So much trauma. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh, well, that's that then. I'm I'm quite excited that he lost actually, because that means that we are gonna see another game of this deck. Yeah, I, I like to see the second action. It should be favored against Rogue. Mm -hmm. Oh, like coach is like no. <laughs> <laughs> what a game! It was intense, that's for sure. Hey. I was feeling tired, but now after seeing this one, it's yeah. like, wow, I'm going to cast more of this. I'm just, I'm just happy that he has to stick with the warrior. Exactly. I do want to see that deck again. It was, it was interesting. For me, this was like the first time that I, I've seen anything like this. Uh, I mean, I, I tried some mech warrior myself, but it's it's been so bad. It's like five games, five losses. I'm like, okay, never playing mech warrior again. But it's okay. so cool to see that somebody's actually bringing it to a... To an to actual a, tournament, right? This, yeah. League, yeah. I was a... Uh... When I was in China, Gara like really, really liked it. Really? Like, yeah, he was like telling me he like kept practicing with it, and I don't know. He's just like, yeah, Mech Warrior, Mech or uh, Mech Warrior, like new meta and stuff, and oh, mm -hmm. it worked okay. Like it definitely has potential, but I just don't think it's there yet. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna say that it's oh, wow, it's so good just yet, exactly. but I'm just really interested. I'm not gonna call it bad because I actually have no idea. The thing is, it's, like, yeah, are they planning on adding in like more mechs? to like new expansions or are they just gonna like add in different things that's the thing like are they gonna add in new dragons are they gonna add in new mechs i don't know we can only guess but um but my guess would be that there's gonna be like for the next expansion it's gonna be like a different theme but who knows like they did add a murloc with exactly with TBT and everything so there might be like one or two popping every here and then if it makes sense like if the if the I want to see the dragon, mech dragon thing. But anyway, like if there's like a new theme which fits where you can like have a hybrid which is like mech, but it also fits with the theme of the next expansion, that would be sweet. Exactly, stuff like that. So it looks like Life Coach is going to be picking his warrior again because he's stuck yep. with it. And Orange is going with Rogue. I, I, would, say, I would say Warrior is favored, even if it's the mech so, version. You can't really stop the Arcanite Reapers and stuff. It's actually 10 face damage. So there's like, usually uh, rogue decks don't play taunts. There might be one Belcher, but usually not. So I think that should be good. But on the other hand, if Orange has a really sick starting hand with maybe, let's say, Backstab, SI Agent, or Prep Evis Rate, or something like that, and he manages to keep the board clear, the weapons alone are not going to be enough to deal the th all 30 damage. That's true. So Life Coach just needs to kind of get uh, get some damage in with in with the minions on on turns one one to five before he can just like fall back to the weapons and the chargers that's the way i feel about it i'd say so as well i wonder if he's just running Corcrons or if he's running wolf riders as well maybe Ar arcane golems something like that <laughs> seems like a very aggressive deck but it sure does yeah that's why we'll get to see more of it it's a good time this is so like not only is this deck really cool but it's also it's life coach playing it, and it's so opposite <laughs> to what he usually plays. Like, wait, is this just? Whoa, okay. Hold on, hold on. All right, we're good. We're good. Yeah, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, wow, some interesting cards there. So he does run a little bit of like heavier stuff too. Oh my goodness, Warbot. I haven't seen that card. 
<laughs> wow. I haven't seen a Warbot in like ever. Oh my goodness. And Orange's hand is not not that great. If he draws a flurry, he's definitely know. in it, but I don't think it's that bad. I mean he does have the teeth or prep heavies. Yeah, but there's like a lot of pressure on board already. That's true. If he I don't know, like even a fan, you're just giving the warbots some damage. <laughs> Which one do you have? <laughs> Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think you just punched that, yeah. Oh, yeah, like, of course, yeah. Just trolling. <laughs> just trolling. Oh, man. There was some merit to sapping. Not much. But, oh, what oh a man. It's probably the best one he could hold. Well, for. he can just, like, coin Teacher Prep of this, start getting bored, but, like, the rogue's yes, already sir. down to 21 HP. And there's yeah. going to be a Corcron into a Lothab. Wow. We were, we were talking about people the game. That we, well, this is like life coach. In order to win, he needs to get the damage in early with minions, and that's exactly what's happening here. Even though Origin is kind of fighting back, he does have the prep heavies, which is excellent to deal with the spider tank. He's already taken, like you said, he's taken a lot of damage, and he's gonna take another four from those. Another eight next turn, actually. Oh man. Uh, Shredder is almost tempting. I, I think it's better, yeah, because you can just. Smash in with the Corcron later. Yeah, like Corcron's always gonna get damage. Here, you want something stronger on board. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and I think he agrees. Didn't place it in the middle. See, mm -hmm. I'm gonna start calling people out on that also. <laughs> yeah, if it's a diable pop, right? Exactly. <laughs> the only thing that would have been, only reason that would have made the Corcron better is the sap, because that's a little bit weak to a sap. That's an interesting trade. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess it's fine. Yeah, it was pretty weird. I think so, though. So, sap, punch, punch, re dagger, board's clear. You have a 1 1. Mm -hmm. You're still going to get the 5 in with the Lothab, I guess. Probably. Things suddenly aren't looking too bad for Orange anymore. No. I wasn't thinking about it right now. I was like, yeah, and easy shredder. But <laughs> the core crown would have been better because of the charge. Exactly. And because of the sap. Oh, that's a card. Oh, that's Hello. A yeah. And now he can't sap that, so that might be an issue later. That is true. And the Lothab is really good here, because the minions are only 4 damage, so in order to clear, clear it, he has to use the weapon as well. Exactly. Either the weapon or a 5 mana backstab, which is super bad. There's like some weird combination, it's let's say Blood not Mage. that bad. <laughs> huh? It's not that bad, that 5 mana backstab five is mana totally backstab. worth. I guess, but it's kind of like skipping the turn. The best, sure. uh, best answer would be something like Blood Mage into Asylum, but he has neither. Taking the 5 here hurts a lot, but he ha has to do it, right? You don't have to, you can trade him with the Shredder next turn. And then keep up your teacher, there's some merit to that. Yeah, but there's gonna be something else next turn to trade anyway. Yeah, but you can trade with the teacher next turn. Okay. Yeah, I like this. It makes sense to me. You're taking the 5 regardless, so might as well just wait. So that, okay, that Lothab's going face for sure. Yes. So that's 12 HP on the rogue. 5-5. Five, five. Do you just play the, sh the Sky Golem? Yeah, yeah, I think so, with one sap already gone. And uh, if, you go if you do something else, it seems kind of bad because it it's not mana efficient at all. You don't want to hero power here. I would just Sky Golem, but the thing about Sky Golem is that it's really poor against the piloted Shredder. Because it's just like such an easy trade for that, for that Shredder. Yeah. I, I do still think that it's the best play. Because he does have a 4. Oh! Uh, it doesn't do it, right? You trade uh, in the Shredder, maybe? No, it doesn't really help that much. No, it's actually not that. I got a bit excited there. But too you, early. You might have to. Oh. Wow. Oh. You can't even deadly an attack. You're taking 5 regardless of what happens. What a card to get. That's like a 5-5. That five, five. That's crazy. Pretty good. He's just like, oh no! Really? Oh, did he like not well, realize? He, he took two extra damage at the cost of saving a one one here. Cause he could have attacked in first and then attacked in with the one one and then deadlied and then flurried and traded in the teacher. Ah got it. He took one he took two extra damage this way. Yeah. So that's why he was a little upset. That's understandable. You don't want to be ma making mistakes like that. Oh yeah, that was actually like completely Well uh You save a one one, but Take two more damage. Yeah. He's just like, nope. <laughs> also, I don't oh. know why he traded the teacher first. That was... 
because you you missed out on one once. Mistakes were made. That's fun. Uh, I guess you just quirk her on no, spider. I, I think you are kind of reaper. There's no stopping it. It's like guaranteed then damage. Because if you play a core yeah, crown, you true. get skilled and then potential for like heal. But I think to, because of the core crown, you could also play like a spider tank. But I like the Archon Reaper a lot more. I, I, I agree. The thing is like. You only lose to a heal bot, and you don't even lose to a Farseer if you core Kron Spider Tank. Yes. But you don't even lose to a heal bot because. You don't lose to anything if you play the Arcanite Reaper. Oh, maybe. Okay, you heal, heal bot. Heal exactly. But you, you have a be better. Exactly. It would be one off. You'd have a better board state if you did our, uh, Elite into Tank. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I guess that's better now. It's just because you have enough through uh, heal. Yeah. Wait, do you have enough through heal? No, I'm crazy. Wait. Uh, sorry. No, you don't have enough through heal. I'm dumb. <laughs> you just, you, you, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going. I'm getting tired. I. Mm, it's yeah, okay. It's okay. It's All right. You just Arcanite Reaper face for sure. Hundred percent. I'm crazy. Yeah. For some reason, I thought he was at six. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure this is gonna work out fine as yeah. well. Should be okay. Yeah, okay, you're looking at Orange's hand. Like, there's three cards. All of those have high mana because there's no immediate effect. So this is, like, the one thing that if he... Because now it's not lethal. If he played the Arcanite Reaper, it actually would have been. It's lethal still because he can't clear board, but if he had an Eviscerate, it wouldn't be. So. Oh, oh yeah. You That's what I was talking about. If he was at 2 yeah. HP, um, I would have played this play. But if he was at 3 HP, I would have done the Arcanite Reaper. That's yeah. what I was saying. I miscalculated. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Took, took a little, little while, but yeah. Yeah. With that hand, there's nothing you can do. Sprint into... Double prep heal bot! <laughs> he's like, <laughs> what is he debating? He's dead. I mean, he doesn't know he's dead. He has to Farseer to not be dead. Yeah, that's like... the only thing you can do. I mean, sprint into double backstab. But in theory, like, that's I fun, like it. But, I mean, yeah. we know better. Just and like, nope. that is that, right? Yep. yep, that's game. I don't even know what to call the deck of life coach, but it's pretty sweet. I guess it's like mech. Mech, I guess. Mech, Had mech a... weapons or some mech weapon. Or bot. Yay! Congrats, life coach, 3 1. Yeah, he should uh, make it to the qualifiers now, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Or the um, playoffs. Oh yeah, I yeah. think. Uh, well, he still has a lot of games to play. He has, he, he's he has a, one he has more. Five right? and three right now. I yeah, believe. He has one more game to play, right? Five and two. Oh, he has... had a little bit less games played than some That's other true. players did. So I, I think it's like possible that he drops the rest of his games and uh, like yeah. barely does not make I think it. He has to play against Raynad, and I don't know about that. <laughs> but shots <laughs> fired. <laughs> Well, that's not shots fired at anyone. It's just, you know, yeah. way it goes. But... Rain on dropped out of the league, I think. Exactly. So I think life coach. Does he get a default? Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah. Okay. I'm not I, sure. I thought you were like, okay, it's a free win. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you I assume forgot that? I was oh, like, my God. <laughs> I, I thought you were going for the free win thing or something. Okay. All right. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. So looking strong. Um. We had a lot of epic matches today. Which one was your favorite? Uh, I think I liked, I liked the life coach versus Amaz. Was it? I think I like that one. Yeah. The hyped one was also really good. Those are probably my two favorite series. Yeah. Probably us, us, this might sound a bit bad. Sorry, life coach, but I think like the most memorable moment of the tournament was still like life coach stroping. Well, missing that hero bar where he could have taken out the five one, and potentially like he lost the game because of that. But uh, maybe go like to the, to the series. Like which series was the best? I think I like them. The hype and pipe land down. Yeah. And Caldi. Caldi, I think. Yeah. yeah, that was that was a good series. This was really, really nice. Going all the way, five five games, three two. Could have went either way around. It was so close. Like the, just like the games and how close they were. Just based on that, it was pretty fun. We also had like some of that the other other kind of stuff. We the first match we had. With uh, with Xiao and Xixo, twelve minutes face hundred oh, man. Eight. That was so fast. 
It's like, ridiculous. It's just like the fastest, best of five I've seen in my life. It was, it was like 12 minutes, I think, total. Show just completely like, wow. Like the base hunter game ending on turn six and yeah, six are just drew pretty poorly with the zoo. Yeah, That's unfortunate, but it happens. Yeah, can happen sometimes. <laughs> just something you can do. Yeah, esports. Maybe right. something went wrong in the preparation. Maybe it was not the right lineup for play, or maybe the draws were unfortunate. Maybe we a little bit of both. I don't know. But um, yeah, it's, it was a great day. If um. Some uh, announcement stuff. Kingwin is looking for casters. And uh, if you think, think that me and Doc are like really bad, you should definitely, and you're better, you should definitely send a VOD of your casting skills to esports at kingwin.net. And uh, maybe you will be the next caster. We are here just to like fill in for Noxious and Lothar this time around. But they are looking for, uh, for like a permanent caster for our season 2, I believe. Um, Thank you. Thanks to everyone for watching. And uh, this was Kingwin League, Kingwin Pro League, week eight, day two. Yeah. I'm Savage, this is yeah. Doc, and uh, have a nice night.